to create this design we will use the cube and with the basic primitives we will block out the design this cube is for the measurement we will give the proper height and dimension to this cube and we will use it as a reference you can see i have added the cube and cylinder to just get the idea of the design we need to adjust the scales and their position to get the basic layout then hide that measurement cube and then apply the scale on these objects after that go to the edit mode add a few loop cuts and then select these faces and then extrude along the normal then add a few loop cuts and then select these face loops and scale them along the x and y axis and create a simple detail add there then select the top face of this cube and then control b add bevel on it then select this vertical edge loops and add bevel on them like this then add a few loop cuts like this then select the top face and use the loop tool and then extrude it along the z axis and then add a few loop cuts like this and use the set flow on them then select this bottom edge loop and add bevel on it and shape factor should be 0 and create a simple looking detail add there like this then you need to add a few more loop cuts to create more details on the model then select these faces use the insert operation and check the individual option then use the insert operation one more time and press alt s to scale them along the normal to create details on this cylindrical object add a few loop cuts then scale these faces and then extrude this face then add one loop cut like this then delete this top and bottom faces and then select this edge loop snap 3d cursor to it and then you need to add the rounded cube adjust the scale delete this top faces delete the faces of the rounded cube and snap it to the 3d cursor adjust the scale then join these two objects together use the breach edge loop then add one loop cut here and adjust the scale and add bevel on it and create a curve bevel format there then add loop cut like this and then add center loop cut and then press alt s to scale them along the normal and create a simple detail at there then add more loop cuts like this then select these alternate faces and then use the insert operation on these faces then press alt s and then use the insert operation one more time and then extrude along the normal and scale them along the z axis then choose the individual origin and then scale these faces along the x and y axis so you can get this kind of design and now we should start to create a topology for it take the symmetry along the x and y axis then select this edge loop add bevel on it shape factor should be 1 and add a 2 segment bevel then use the knife tool and create this kind of cuts then select these edge loops and control b add bevel on them then add the sub D modifier and shade smooth it and then take the symmetry along the x and y axis you can add more edge loops to maintain the form of the model now we will create a topology for this object use the edge slide on these edge loops then select these faces and delete them take the symmetry then delete the remaining faces now rotate the object and apply the rotation now add sub D modifier then select these edge loops and control B add bevel on them then add few loop cuts like this then select these edge loops you can use the shift G to select and then control b add bevel on them then share smooth it then select this corner edge loops deselect some edges and control b add bevel on them and then we need to create a right topology here so select these words and connect them dissolve these edges and merge the words here you need to observe the topology carefully then use the knife tool add here and create cuts then dissolve the edges and try to create that chord based topology like this add one loop cut like this and then connect the words and dissolve the edges so we have redirected the topology a little bit so we can get a better result 
then select these words and then connect them then dissolve the edges then use the knife tool and create this kind of cuts to create right topology then delete the bottom part select the top part and duplicate it and rotate it so you can get the symmetry then merge the words then you can add few more loop cuts then here you need to reduce the topology so merge the words and then dissolve the edges then take the symmetry then select everything and then shift it to duplicate it and rotate it then select this edge loop and use the loop tool on it then select this bottom edge loop press F to fill the gap then use the insert operation then select these words and merge them at the center then delete the face and use the grid fill then select these top faces and then extrude them along the z axis then select the edge loops and add a bevel on them now we will create topology for this object add the subd modifier add a bevel on the edge loops then select these faces and press p to make a separate object and now select these faces and delete them select these faces make a separate object then add loop cuts like this use the knife tool and create a proper cut like this then add supporting loop cuts then take the symmetry and add more loop cuts then add vertical loop cuts and here you can use the knife tool to get the proper angle then take the symmetry then you need to select these words and merge them at the center so we can connect these two parts together then select everything and shift it to duplicate it and rotate it then select everything and merge by distance now select both the objects and then join them together then select everything and merge by distance and now here you need to create right topology one more time so use the knife tool and create this kind of cuts and just try to maintain the chord based topology and good edge flow on the model so you can avoid the pinching and you can get the good results like this you can see you can observe the topology here So in this way you can get a good topology. This is not the completely finished model yet. I need to add more details on it. This is a retro sci-fi model. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Bye bye. See you next video. Take care.